Hi, my name is Peach and welcome back to Melograph Monday. Today I'm excited to show you how to make this randomized 3D text animation. This method was shown to me by Nabnoob and he gave me this blessing to teach this for Melograph Monday, so go check him out and his video, which I will include the link down below. All right, let me not waste your time. Start off, I have a fusion composition that's 24 frames and then I'm just gonna go into it into fusion. Next, we're gonna grab a text node and connect it up to our media out. Then we're just gonna put whatever text we want. I'm just gonna do nab. Let it resize it and then let's just do a different font that'll be fine because next thing we're going to do is right click the text box and hit character level styling and it will bring up a modifier and so if we go up here we can access the modifiers controls and this is what we're going to do for to set our animation up so the first thing we're going to do we're going to keyframe this button right here and this is going to allow us to make changes to whatever text we like so First thing we're going to do is select one of the letters just like that in your viewer and then you could transform it however you'd like controls you need to use for rotation is in the transform section and this rotation and you need to use this one and the other control i'm going to say because it won't work with other ones for some reason in my experience but it might work for you but this is the way i do it so we're going to hit adapt with angle and then we're going to rotate x however we like that that should be fine and then if we want to move the position of the text we go to shading go down to position and then change the offset to however we like just like that and we're just going to do that for the rest of the letters all right now that we have our letters lined up next thing we're going to do is go to the end of our fusion composition and keyframe where we want it to be and then we're going to go back to each letter Highlighting towards the middle or wherever the letter we think is and then we're just going to go to wherever we change the control and just double click these controls and it will reset it back to normal it's like that and we're just going to do that for each letter all right once that is done you should have an animation like this the cool thing about this is that we can actually translate this animation whatever we want and we can put it into 3d so we're just gonna grab the text on like that and we're gonna put some 3d text in so let's put the 3d text in from here and then grab a 3d render from here and connect it all up the media out next thing we're gonna do is type in our text that we have before and then stylize it the way we want we go gotham black and then we could move this down and i'm actually gonna go to shading uncheck one color one use one material then we're just going to change the color to red like that and then what we're going to do is go to extrusion down here on the text page and then make the depth wider so you can actually see the sides of the letter now what we're going to do is right click the side over here and instead of going to character level styling we're actually going to go to connect to character level styling and then stylize text and basically that will uh, translate the text animation from this text onto 3d text which is very cool and if you want to change the spline of the text, you can also just bring this text node in, drag it into the spline viewer. I like these nodes, the, the keyframes, hit S, and then make whatever animation you'd like, just like that. That is how to make a random, a random text animation. And you can see this a lot in other edits, just like this. If any more questions or tutorials on what I should do in the future, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you'd like to join the Resolve Amy Community Discord, there's a link in the description as well as a link to my own server if you'd like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.